Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and a new version of the popular distro from China, Dipin OS has just been released. The version number is 15.6. Dipin is one of my favorite Linux distribution and I have been following this distro very closely and have also made few videos on its previous major releases on this channel. I think it is one of the most beautiful looking Linux distro and many people find the theme of the desktop similar to Apple's Mac OS. Well, there may be some inspiration from Mac OS, but the desktop has a lot more features and I have been improving it with every new iteration. And more importantly, it's free, which is great. So let's find out what's new on Dipin's latest version 15.6. Starting with the installation process of the operating system, the installation process is the same as the previous version. You have all the usual set of options beautifully presented in this clean transparent background that looks really nice. Looks has been one of the greatest strength of Dipin OS. They put a lot of emphasis on making the desktop an eye catcher and full marks to the Dipin design team for being successful in achieving that. Its trademark transparency on the background of menus and windows is quite popular and now KDE in its new release of Plasma 5.13 desktop has also included this transparent background feature which is a good thing but Dipin has been doing it since its beginning. Now after installation on the first boot you get this welcome app which is new in Dipin 15.6. This app shows a sneak peek of all the features of a Dipin desktop and also lets you customize the icon theme taskbar mode and enable or disable window effect so you can do initial customization to the desktop before you start using the system so this is the desktop all right now let's go through the changes on the new desktop now let's start with the launcher the launcher has been redesigned now the left side shows the list of frequently used app with the most frequent app at the top um, all programs gives you list of all the installed program on the system. Now you can change this sequence by moving apps up or down this list as per your choice. So this is a new customization added in 15.6. On the right side is the shortcuts to important folders with a link to dip in manual at the bottom of this list. This manual has been updated and now it has a new section on Dipin desktop environment giving you all the required information on how to use this desktop. At the bottom now is the clock with date and time. There's also a quick shortcut to settings and gone is the shutdown icon which is replaced by this text. Another new feature is selective HIDPI. The last release of Dipin introduced HIDPI which is a feature to scale the desktop for higher resolution screens so that you can use the full screen resolution without making the desktop look tiny. This is essential for laptops having high resolution displays. Now with Dipin 15.6, you can enable or disable scaling for each individual app. So you can right click on an application and check disable scaling. Now the app loads in native resolution with no scaling. This is helpful for apps that do not handle scaling well. Next is the dark mode theme for apps. Now there's an additional dark theme option in the app menu. You can check dark theme to turn the background of the app dark. It looks really nice and gives a different new look to the desktop and many new desktops are now adding this feature including the recently announced Mac OS Mojave which has a similar feature. Now moving to the control center which is the place where you find all the customization settings. Uh, the biggest visual change here is the change in the left menu bar which has been streamlined a bit. Uh, this lets you quickly access settings for each category. Next there is a new setting called enable window effect. This setting gives you option to enable or disable the transparency in the background. By disabling you will lose all the transparency and blur effect which is kind of the signature of a dip in desktop. But disabling this makes your system lighter and less resource hungry. There's almost 5 to 10 percent decrease in memory consumption. Hence it is best for system with low memory or hardware resources. The other new change is the Bluetooth quick access icon at the bottom to quickly turn Bluetooth on off and to connect nearby Bluetooth devices. Also the music widget is now built into the control center so when you play music you get play, pause and tracking right on the control center. Alright so that was all. Uh, apart from these changes there have been many minor improvements. For a complete list of changes and improvements you can check out the release note page of uh, Dipin 15.6 on Dipin website. You can also get the link of this page in the description of this video. Dipin is a great functional Linux distribution that has made its own special place in the world of Linux. No it does not provide heavy customization options unlike other Linux distribution but it provides just the right mix of features to make the desktop not only look beautiful but also one that works 
just as great. Alright, so that was all for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you do, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, please type that in in the comment box. And if you want to see more such videos, kindly subscribe to my channel XPS Tech. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.